Do you know how much gas a brand new car gets before it leaves the factory, and how big parts like doors get installed? We're inside the final assembly shop at Fob Volkswagen, where the doors go on and the fuel gets filled. First, workers mount the rear doors onto the hinge bases, then secure a stopper with a single screw. That stopper keeps the door from swinging too far and hitting the front body panel. After plugging in the main door connector, the robotic arm pulls away and moves to the next door. Next, the front doors go on. They are done after the rear ones so they do not get in the way. The process is the same. Once the door is set, the hinge bolts get tightened to keep it from lifting out. Two trim caps are added and then the shiny welcome strips are applied. A positioning jig helps place them. The backing is peeled and the strip is pressed on. It looks good, and it also stops items from falling and hitting the sill. A roller makes sure it sticks firmly. Now for the gas. At the factory, they only put in about three to four gallons. That is just enough for testing, moving the car around, and loading it for transport. They do not fill it all the way to keep shipping weight down, and because topping it off is the dealer's job before you get the keys. Next, the front windshield drip molding goes in, locking into the bracket from top to bottom. It channels rainwater away from the side so it does not block the glass and affect safety. Then come the wheel hub covers, which add style and protect from rust. When changing tires, a metal hook from the car's toolkit pops them off easily. After that, the left front door's mechanical lock gets installed. The lock cylinder slides into its slot, then a screw is set from the side. To remove it later, you just tap that screw inward. Once fitted, two keys are tested. Even if the remote battery dies, the mechanical key will still open the door. A reflective safety vest is placed inside, and the lock cover is snapped on. Next, the negative battery cable is tightened. If the car will sit unused for a long time, disconnecting it prevents battery drain. Then, the secondary oil gas separator cover is installed, followed by the oil cap. Finally, a precision check of all four doors and two hoods is done. Laser cameras on robotic arms scan the alignment and gaps, then display the results on a nearby screen so workers can make adjustments.